All right. I thought I might make a video of where I'm living at the moment. The XHMAS Carlo. How do I flip the camera around? Hmm. Maybe I'll have to do this. Here is the water. Just off the side. I'm going to do some cleaning up today, I think, so I'll show you inside, but it's a little bit messy. the galley. I have a fridge that works but isn't plugged in because we're on generators. So to get lights we have to pay for fuel all the time. And I cook using a microwave and a convection oven sometimes. Hopefully we'll get a gas burner a bit later on. It's another fridge. Chris, the owner of the ship, who is away on the mainland at the moment, this is his room. The toilet, which we don't use because it flashes right over the side and it's not legal, but perhaps when we are underway. The shower. This is a sort of common area where we are... Um, Yeah, this is where I am most of the time, where we get power and everything. Had a little bit of clean, we could do with a bit more of one. And this is my room, which could do with the clean. And I'll get to that today. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we'll get a washing machine sorted too. Because all of my clothes are dirty. Is it a... Down here's bunks and stuff. We'll see if the camera's alright with the low light. There's a light down here, but... Won't bother turning the generator on just yet. Nah, terrible. Oh well. Yeah, and there's a radar room in there. Not that you can really tell, but... 
I'll leave in. Maybe I'll put some lights on. I'll show you the engine room. It's very beautiful here. Here, all the show you around. All right, the it's done here. Yep, bunks and stuff, and we'll have more crew. A lot of them will be in here. I think I'll still have my own room. Very nice. This hatch here. That's where the radar goes. But it's not there at the moment, I don't think. More bunks and things. Escape. Oh, what's that? Yeah. Never opened this before. I wonder where that goes. Down to the engine room. Oops. It's all right. sure what this is. That is the compass. Some big engines here. They are Deltic. Deltic something, but the, how they work is there are three crankshafts with two pistons attached to each of the shafts, and the um, and two of the pistons, all right, each shaft has two pistons and it's in a triangle, and all of the crankshafts are turning, and they um, the pistons slam into each other, and that's how they, and then they, you know, the fuel ignites, and then presses, pushes both of them away, firing up the other side of the rotation. So they've got a lot of power generation. But they, they suck a lot of fuel too. Yeah. And there's three of those. I guess you might all want to know what I'm doing, I guess. So, I'm studying uh, the first paramedics course that I intend to do. 
over the internet and I'll when I get to Brisbane I'll do a couple of workshops there um, and then that'll give me enough uh, that'll give me a high enough ATAR once it's complete to get into university for a paramedics course that'll let me work on uh, state ambulances um, and at the moment I'm also working about one and a half k's away at a place that's building uh, large barges for feed barges for a salmon farm so most of the day I'm sanding or painting welds um, and we'll probably be here for another week to ten days or so before we leave Chris is about to leave the mainland now from about Lismore, North New South Wales taking a couple of tugs and we'll get a third ship well, it's a large boat to pull us from uh, to also help pull AMSA, the Marine Authority here requires that we have three tugs um, so Chris should be back here before long um, till then I'm keeping an eye on the ship and yeah, it's going well Brightness is up a bit high. How do I adjust that? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, yeah everything's going all right. Um, Okay. That's a bit low. Alright, wish you all the best. I suppose I'll go. Have a good one.